uh, this is a question which was given in the year 2019 and also uh, for uh, BBA or BBM students it was asked uh, for in the year 2006 uh, it is a similar type of question it's not the same numbers but uh, little changes in the number but uh, same uh, all the accounts are same and all the adjustments are also same only the numbers are different if we try to understand or if we try to solve this question and if you go through 2019 question paper I'm sure you will understand okay please try to write this question in your book so that it will be helpful for you in understanding Okay guys, uh, let us uh, uh, read this question in the year 2019 for BCom and BBM students in the year 2006 uh, from the following uh, balance sheets given below uh, Credit us in the year 2003 January and December 2003 in the Credit us, uh, Mrs. X loan, opening is given, closing is not given Loan from bank 40,000 and 50,000 Capitals 1,25,000, 1,53,000, cash 10,000, 7,000, debtors 30,000, 50,000, stock 35,000, 25,000, landed building is 40,000, 50,000, buildings 35,000, 60,000, machinery is 80,000 and 55,000. This is what the balance sheet numbers. During the year, machine costing rupees 10,000, accumulated depreciation is 3,000, was sold for rupees 5,000. The provision for depreciation against machinery on 1-1-2003 and 31st December 2003 were 25,000 and 40,000 respectively and net profit for the year 2003 amounted to rupees 45,000. You are required to prepare cash flow statement as per AS3. Guys, this is a, a very very simple question, very simple question and let us understand how to solve this question. See, what we require is first we need net profit. Does he give up the net profit or a profit and loss account in the balance sheet? So you don't find a profit and loss account as an account in the balance sheet liability side or in the asset side. Either it is not given in the liability side nor asset side. See, but it is given in the adjustment. In the last paragraph he is given the net profit for the year 2003 amount into rupees 45,000 so definitely that net profit 45,000 rupees we should take it here okay so 45,000 we have taken now what is the adjustment so let us understand let us try to finish off all the adjustments then we'll come back to the balance sheet during the year machine costing rupees 10,000 accumulated depreciation is 3,000 was sold for 5,000 see that means to say that 10,000 rupees was the machinery cost. Cost of machine was 10,000. And its depreciation till now is 3,000 rupees. And 7,000 is the written down value or today's value of the machine, which has been sold for how much? 5,000 rupees. That means we got 2,000 rupees of loss. So we sold 7,000 worth of machine for 5,000. And we got 2000 rupees of loss. This we need to take it in the adjustment in the account as machinery account. See, we have to prepare an account called as machinery account. In the machinery account, debit side, what is the opening balance of machine? Opening balance of the machinery is 80,000 rupees and by Closing balance of machine is 55,000. Guys, you can easily make out there is a decrease in the value of the machine. There is a decrease in the value of the machine. That means definitely there might be some sale or depreciation in the value of the asset. But right, if there is a decrease in the value of the machine, there are two possibilities in decrease in the value of machine. 
either one is there must there might be some sale of machinery or there might be some depreciation happened for the machine now as per the adjustment given 10000 rupees of worth of cost of machine and its depreciation till today is 3000 and the written down value is 7000 which was sold for 5000 we got 2000 so plus now what i try to do here is first i write it as a bank account or cash account for sale entry i will take we sold it for 5000 right so sale of machinery is 5000 at the same time we incur 2000 rupees of loss so that loss also need to be adjusted as adjusted profit and loss account as loss 2000 rupees i am right okay so from 80000 it is become 55000 Out of this, some asset has been sold. Some asset has been sold for five thousand. Now, what we try to do here is see the opening value of the depreciation, accumulated depreciation is twenty-five thousand, and closing is forty thousand. So there is a, a depreciation from opening to closing fifteen thousand rupees. How much? Fifteen thousand rupees. So now fifteen plus three is eighteen. Now we'll try to calculate here. Eighty thousand rupees, eighty thousand rupees, and what is the balancing figure we got? Is five uh, plus five, ten plus two, twelve plus eight, twenty two carry seven plus one, eighty. So this is called as adjusted profit and loss account. This is the total depreciation during the year happened. Okay, sir, how we got this eighteen thousand rupees? With we can write as a balancing figure also, and we can write that directly also. How it is? I'll tell you. See, accumulated depreciation on machinery beginning of the year is twenty five thousand. Am I right? And depreciation on thirty first December two thousand three was forty thousand. So totally fifteen thousand rupees of depreciation happened for the asset or machinery. Which is still in the business. That means these fifteen thousand depreciation we have provided for such machinery which is we are using it till now. Remaining five three thousand rupees of depreciation. This depreciation three thousand rupees. If you take it here three thousand. This becomes how much eighteen thousand rupees. This is the depreciation on such machinery which we have sold. So existing depreciation is fifteen thousand, and the machinery which we have sold, that depreciation is three thousand, and totally it comes to eighteen thousand. All of you understood it seems, because it's a very simple question. So now, after preparing this machinery, what we have to do? Very simple. See, we do we have depreciation? Yes, depreciation on machinery. How much we have? Eighteen thousand rupees. I will write it here. Okay. Do we have any loss on sale of our machinery? Yes, we have. Loss on asset is two thousand rupees. Do we have any sale? Yes, five thousand rupees sale is there. As I told you, any fixed assets, either plant machinery, land and building, furniture and fixtures, if you sell or buy, if you buy and sell, buying we take it in the negative number in the. If you sell any asset, we take it in the positive value here. Now sale of assets is. First uh, machinery, we sold it for how much? Five thousand rupees. This I will write it as a plus value because when you sell, cash is coming in. So that's all the entries happened for all these three one, two, three adjustments. We have written depreciation, loss, and sale value. We have taken it here. Done with the adjustment. Done with the machinery account. Now what else is given is that's all. That's all is given. But I will tell you one more thing. What is that one more thing? Is if you look at the capital, capital. Okay, uh, we will try to solve with uh, one after one. Now all the adjustments we have finished so far. Now let us come from the beginning. Liability side, credit loss, forty thousand and forty-four thousand. Current liability, credit loss is a current liability, and there is an increase of four thousand rupees of current liability. Am I right? So when there is an increase in current liability, there.
there is a decrease in working capital when there is a increase in current liability decrease in working capital so therefore i will write it here creditors 4000 rupees of increase in the current liability leads to decrease in working capital i have done it next item is mrs x flow see mrs x flow is x is a proprietor this proprietor mr x is borrowed loan from uh, someone or uh, this company or this business is borrowed from mr x sorry mr x when borrowed loan in the beginning of the year was 25000 at the end of the year there is no loan amount itself what is the meaning of it loan is repaid very good so if the loan is repaid where it comes which comes in the financing activity am i right so if the loan is repaid is cash is coming in or going out cash is going out so therefore i am writing it as a minus number okay next is loan from bank see loan from bank beginning is loan from bank was 40000 closing is 50000 rupees that means there is an increase in the loan amount of 10000 rupees that means freshly we have borrowed 10000 more amount of loan so borrowing of loan when you borrow loan cash is coming in so therefore i will write it as a plus number okay next is capital now if you see the capital beginning of the year is 125000 closing is 153000 there is an increase here in at this point only every student will commit a mistake see the the proprietor had a capital of 125 and during the year he earned a profit of 45000 rupees see any profits or any loss any profits or any loss which goes to whom the proprietor or the owner am i right so therefore there is some adjustment here which is not given but we need to understand what is that adjustment you will understand if you prepare an account called capital account it is in the liability side am i right see always liability side opening balance okay see opening balance or balance brought down opening balance of capital is 125000 and any net profit of the business should be added to the capital and the net profit of the business is 45000 am i right Yes, and totally it comes to one lakh seventy thousand. Say he had an opening capital of one lakh twenty five, closing a net profit of forty five thousand, and his closing capital should be one lakh seventy thousand. Am I right? So his closing capital should be one lakh seventy thousand, but the closing capital is showing only one lakh fifty three thousand. That means remaining amount where it is gone. See, when you had introduced one lakh twenty-five thousand rupees of capital, on a profit of forty-five thousand rupees, your closing capital should be one lakh seventy, but it is showing one lakh fifty-three thousand. Where the remaining seventeen thousand rupees is gone, that is the secret point, hidden adjustment in this question. Now that six seventeen thousand rupees we consider it as a two bank account. as drawings that means proprietor has taken away 17000 rupees for his personal use so now what we do is 17000 rupees of drawings which we need to adjust it here as minus 17000 rupees i hope you understood this adjustment if you don't understand this adjustment i am sure i am telling you you cannot solve this question Understood. See, opening capital one twenty five. When you get profit forty five, it should be one lakh seventy. Your closing capital should be one lakh seventy. But it is showing only one lakh fifty three thousand. Where is gone this remaining seventeen thousand is proprietor is used for his personal use. So therefore, that's called as a drawings. The drawings should be taken here as a minus value. Got it, guys? Now we are finished with all the adjustments. Capital also. Now let us come from the asset side. Opening balance of cash is ten thousand. I am writing it here. Okay, and closing balance of cash is seven thousand rupees. This should be our answer. Okay. 
I am writing already answer I am writing. Okay, we will check with at the end. Now cash point is over. Debtors is 30,000 and 50,000. There is a, an increase in the debtors. If there is an increase in current asset leads to increase in current working capital. So debtors is increased. So 20,000 rupees increase in working capital. Next stock. 35,025. There is a decrease in current asset. If decrease in current asset leads to decrease in working capital, stock is decreased by 35 to 25 is 10,000 rupees. Next, land. Land is not a current asset. It's a fixed asset. Say land value is increased from 40,000 to 50,000. That definitely they will be some purchases there would be some purchases so therefore purchase of land when you purchase land it comes to minus value it comes to minus value 10,000 rupees because there is an increase there is no depreciation for the land always there will be an appreciation in the land either appreciation or there might be a new purchase of land we are assuming here there is a new purchase of land worth of 10,000. And buildings. Buildings is from 35,000 to it becomes 60,000 rupees. That means here also there, there will be a definitely a 25,000 rupees of purchase of new building. So building purchases would be 25,000. I will write it as a minus value. Okay guys? So that's all about the question now. Now what we try to do here is we have taken all the adjustment, we have filled all the cases wherever is required. Now let us see how it happens. Now I am adding non-cash, uh, non-operating expenses. 18 plus 2 is 20,000. Since this is a plus value, I am adding it as a plus value. 20 plus 60, uh, 45 is 65,000. This is also plus value. And there is no non-operating income. So plus 65,000. Guys, plus and minus is very important here because yes, students will get easily confused. Okay. Now, decrease in working capital is the plus value. Plus value numbers are only 10 plus 4 is 14,000 rupees plus value. Uh, 14 plus 65 is 79,000. It is also plus value. Minus value is only 20,000. Minus 20,000. And it becomes plus 59,000. And there is no income tax failure. And cash from financing, act, I mean uh, operating activity is 59,000. Now, this 59,000 rupees, I will write it here. Now, in investing activity, there is total minus value of 25 and 10, 35,000. 30, minus 35 plus 5,000 is minus 30,000. Now, from this plus 59, minus 30 is showing plus 29,000. Okay, this is called as uh, one minute. This minus 30 is called as cash from investing activity, and this is plus 29,000. Now, if you look at uh, the financing activity, there are two minus values, totally 42,000 rupees of minus value and 10,000 rupees of plus value. Minus 42 plus 10 is minus 30. Am I right, sirs? Yes, sirs. Correct, sirs. Now, 32,000 is a minus. 32,000 is a minus. And 29 is a plus. Now, if you deduct 32,000 minus 29,000, how much you will get is 12 minus 9 is 3. Am I right? What type of 3000 it is? This is a minus 3000 and this is a plus 10000. Right? 
Now, from plus 10,000, if you deduct uh, minus 3,000, how much you got? You got plus 7,000 rupees of closing balance of cash. This is how we have proved this question is correct and we have done it in a perfect way. See, this is a very simple question. Very simple question where you can, this is a 2019 question paper and also it was the same question was repeated in the year 2006 for BDM student also. So I hope uh, you understood this question and please uh, like this video if you like it and uh, subscribe my channel, Sai Studies. Thank you.